What's up, website creators? All right, have you ever filled out a form? Or maybe you signed up for a newsletter, and as soon as you hit that send button, you got directed to a thank you page. It was a cool page, had a nice little message. Well, it has a whole far better experience than the default little line of text, that boring line of text underneath the form that says the form was successfully submitted. You know, that little one that's like hard to read and super tiny. Well, Good thing is, it's super easy to actually do this. Elementor has made this very easy in their forms. It's already built in there, so you don't need a third-party plugin. Uh, you don't need to do any custom coding. You will need Elementor Pro, though, because only the forms work on the pro version. So if you don't have the pro version yet, there is a link in the description uh, to take you to go get one. And please don't forget to subscribe as I'll continue putting out Elementor and web design related content. All right, let me go ahead and show you how to do this really quickly. So check it out. All right, so we're here inside the dashboard. The first thing that we're gonna wanna go do is build a thank you page. Now I've already built the thank you page because I wanna make this really fast for you. And you can see here, it's a very simple page. Uh, you could style one of these up yourself. You could get really creative with it. But even something as simple as this, where it just says, thank you for reaching out to us, a uh, quick little free illustration that I got online, and then a little message saying that we got your message and our team is on it. So that's our thank you page. Now let's go over to our contact form. Again, I already built the form right here just to make it a lot quicker and easier right here. Uh, so when you have your form, you can style it up any way that you would like. If you would like to see how to design and build a form like this, let me know in the comments and I could always make a video on that step-by-step -step how to create a form that looks like this right here. So let me go ahead and go in and edit with Elementor. From here, you wanna to go to your form and go to edit it, make sure you're on edit form. And then you wanna go down here to actions after submit. When you click on this box, you're gonna get several, act, several options right here. Normally, you would always put on email because when you put on email, then you could put in the email address that you want your, your messages to go to. You could add as many of these as you like. The one we want to add is redirect. So when you add the redirect, now you're gonna see a new option right here that says redirect. Click on there and just click the link right inside here. Now one thing to make sure is you get the whole link. You wanna make sure you have the HTTP or HTTPS depending on what your website has. Hopefully you got an HTTPS. This is just on my local host, so I got an HTTP. Uh, please don't call me out on it on the comments. I know it's not a live site. Okay, so, but you wanna make sure to have it because if you don't include this, uh, it won't work. So go ahead and click on update. Now let's go view it and try it out. All right, my name is Jeffrey. Brand name, Lightbox. And message. And we'll click on send. And there we go, we just got redirected to the thank you page. It's that easy, super easy. All right, so. There are a few benefits to having something like this, to having a page and putting this in. First off, it gives a whole far better experience. Having just that little line of text, it's hard to read. And to be honest, it's kind of lazy. It, to me, it feels and looks just a little bit lazy whenever I fill out a contact form and I get a little tiny message like that. So putting one of these in, it gives you a chance to like do something more special, build a better connection and give a better uh, uh, experience for your website visitors. Another thing too is this from the marketing standpoint has a lot of benefits as well because when you start doing marketing, uh, you could set you could set uh, conditions, you could track uh, things, like you could track visitors that go to your thank you page uh, with Google Analytics and Tag Manager, you could do stuff in there. I mean, even like far more advanced marketing when it comes to email marketing, 
you know, it's just beneficial to have and good to start right now. And later on, it'll pay off uh, greatly. I really hope this helps out. Uh, I hope this helps you to make your forms more creative. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you think of anything else that a thank you page could help your website. Put it in the comments so other people can learn as well. And don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. You know, subscribe, like, comment. You know, you know you've been around YouTube. You know, you know what we all look for, what we all ask for at the end of a video. I appreciate it. I look forward to coming back and bringing some more content. Thank you.